Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. From the last entry, the sealant is leveling itself out. It's still quite soft though. I did add it late in the day yesterday. And all of this water here that you see again, that's just the humidity out here in BC. That is dew buildup. So sun is coming out. It's gonna be an absolutely gorgeous day. We'll bake this water away. And when I get back from doing what I'm about to do, mayhaps we will hit this with a little bit of paint to help seal the edge of the sealant with the metal of the roof. But before that, I say we go play a nice, simple game of crib. <laughs> right? What's that there? I thought I was worried my bum would be in the water, but we're good now. Mine's in the water. It's Bruce. Oh, what game is this? Six? Uh, I mean, oh, think... we gotta do this again. <laughs> Dinosaur, Mount Kid. Patreon. Patreon. I don't know if that was that Didn't we do a crib game elsewhere, though, when we weren't? No, we thought talked about it, but didn't. Okay. Patreon. We did one of them. <laughs> it's quality content. Quality content. But we haven't been keeping very good track this year. No. It's been really bad. Where what did I lose? You lost the last game, wherever the hell that was. Yes, that's what... <laughs> oh, that was... Um, but that was... I think it was definitely game five. I won... Because I won Dinosaur. Then you did Mount Kid. Mm -hmm. And then you did Patreon, Patreon. And then you did another one. I think there's one in between pa Mount Kid and Patreon. No, I think there's one in between Patreon and the one that I just won. Okay. Which was Montana. <gasps> Drumheller. Right. There you go. Holy gosh. Where did the summer go? That feels like forever ago, but also yesterday. That feels like forever ago. That was June. Yeah. So, yeah, because that, that's it. Because you've won 
three, right? Mount Kid, Patreon, Drum Heller, and, and I've won two. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now here we are, back on Cribbage Island after two years. Just a nice, simple game of crib. We don't go all out. <laughs> it just gets fancier with better toys every year. <laughs> right? <laughs> Next year, I want a helicopter. I don't know why. It wouldn't look any different than... I don't have a drone. You're, you're black, right? That's what we always do. You're racist. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day. We decided there were jokers in here, right? Yep, there they are. Mm -hmm. Along with a calendar of 2015 and 2016. Nice. <laughs> I guess I've never seen a calendar in cards before. Oh, interesting. Right? It's a lucky year. What happened in 2015? Um, Claire and I ago. broke up and then I got together with Brooklyn's mom. Oh, well, there you go. It's <laughs> the very end. Life changing that, events. Life changing events forever. Go ahead. Oh, no. Hey! And go! Island uh, might come through for me once more. Although I've seen stranger things happen. I don't know. It's my crib, which means Lindsay counts first, but she's got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 points. I just need a cool 24. 29, that's all you need. Yeah. You, can, you just get the 29 hand. I'm okay. There's no, oh yeah. Yeah, you can, come on, but. <laughs> <laughs> but don't peg because then that would like, take away from the ula. The ula. the ula, ula, if you got the 29 hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, on the other hand, am 10 points away from Ten. winning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. I have all those opportunities. If I can't get, I swear, if I can't get, because that's how I usually play, is I couldn't even get 10 points. Let's see what happens. Lucky logger cards. Two, 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 two. Cribbage Island. Good game. No cut me a jack. No Come on, no. cut me a jack. How about an ace? That's ah. It doesn't. We're not going to get there. This is irrelevant. We don't. I don't even. We just put this crib no, no, but on I, the island. But I, but I. It's fine. We'll look at it after. But I wanted to Once there. you're licking your wounds. <laughs> Go ahead. Seven. Teen. Twenty-three. Thirty-three. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Thirty. That's a go. There you go. Come on, bud. Come on, little black bags. No. Let's go. Ten. Oh, that's it for you, eh? Okay, I'll take the go. Go ahead. All right, count them up. 15, 2, 15, 4 to pair of six. All right, that's the gap you closed. That's the gap I closed. It's funny. I didn't pitch. 15, 2, 15, 4, 15, 6, 15, 8. Pair is 10. That'll do. I've run out of holes, as our grandfather used to say. <laughs> and now my mother says, obnoxiously. Nice. This I think this is my best win this I'm, year, which is we're great. We're closing that gap to be right? an intense. And it's oh, it's oh plus one, five, ten, fifteen, twenty-one points. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Oh yeah, twenty-two. Right, the end point. So twenty-two points I beat you by. Now I got to do some math and figure it out because we're pretty sure that our next game is going to be the last one of the season. Good game. Good game. Good game. Cribbage Island twenty twenty-four. <laughs> Where's my rum? It's not gone yet. Oh, it was so nice when I lost it. I don't, I don't, I don't know, dude. You really <laughs> spanked me for those three games. Oh yeah, what was in the crib? Let's see what. Hang on, hang on. I could have kept the three. Let's see. The up card is an ace. Can we see these? Hashtag unfused. What are you? Doing? I'm gonna die. Yeah. This is how I go. Five, six, seven, fifteen, two. <laughs> That's it. I know, but if I kept the three. Oh yes. That's all I see, right? There's only two points in that crib. Yeah, I put the nine and three in the fifteen. Two more. 
It looks like there should be more, but I don't think there is. I think there's only two no. points. GG, mother... That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, like, if I didn't have to do that again. I mean, I would. I, I think I would happily do it in accordance with what I said yesterday, how I forgot what I <laughs> said. Um, but it also would be fun. I need to, I want to start leaning into doing more stuff in grace. Like, just so I don't have to feel obligated to always bring luck. Because the problem is Penny. I love having her with me and having her on the channel. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, like leave her here with mom and dad or leave her in your care and lucky in the in the alley or whatever because mm. i like having her but i could it'd just be so much faster yeah but you could set up a whole cam does it man he's got a two-door jeep the, the... that's true like you just... i just can't use the air mattress though cause... well and i guess the question too is like i mean i don't know if you saw lorna get up or even Braden's for that matter but i mean no. they all sleep to the roof like this but they're on they're on cots in their vehicles so could you do that I don't know because they both have the bigger SUVs, right? That I think probably have more space in the back. Grace is like as big as she looks. She's really not. Even once the seats are folded down, it's like, because it's not, it's not as long as me. I, 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 yeah, when I'm in there, I sleep diagonally to be as most comfortable. But you know those cots that literally go off the ground like this? Yeah. Mine are super high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit on. But if you were to get low ones and put it diagonal, what do you think? I don't know. And now the thing is I've got that shelf in there, which can be raised, but actually it's kind of cool because if with it where it is, my feet would go underneath and I got a little shelf to like oh, put shit on. Yeah. Well, I mean, but in the Jeep, it's usually the switch. Yeah, but you'd still have to. That's true. I so rarely ever do that, take the Joy-Cons off and set. I always forget about like the kickstand. I never do that mode. Why, why, why would you, right? I just like, love that everywhere you go, you create a cubicle for yourself. It doesn't matter what we... That's right. <laughs> I got to have my office with me wherever I go. <laughs> Lindsay just looks at me and says, in the back of your chair, I'm like, what? Is another... In the bottom part? <laughs> These Tommy Bahama chairs. Look at this. It's like she was prepared or something. Only prepared for two. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> right? No wasps. No pine beetles. There's a lot of burping still, though. No stink bugs. We're just, we're going to live here. I just need to figure out how to get Akshay at the UPS store to deliver my shit here. Send dinner. Send dinner, too. Just skip the dishes. Where's Uber Eats? The address is Cribbage Island. OXOXO. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's the postal code? Yeah. OXOXO. That's right. On a bottle of rum. <laughs> And for those that might not know, they just happened to stumble across this video first. This is not my boat. This is my father's boat, my mom's boat. Um, my boat is still very much... <laughs> I do want to hopefully haul it out maybe tomorrow and take it down to the car wash. It doesn't go putt-putt. It, it, it just it floats. Thud. It goes... <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> We're working on it. But I'm not going to work on it anymore because I live here now. So if you don't see any more YouTube videos for a while, it's because I'm here. Never mind that you have one thing of gas left. I don't, I'm not leaving. <laughs> but the rum's almost gone. Damn it! <laughs> the cool thing about this little island here, there's like three of them here on the lake. This is the, I think the nicest one. The other ones have like vegetation on them and stuff. Not vegetables, calm down. But it, it, you can see that it kind of slowly goes out and falls off at a gradual gradient or whatever, right? I'm not a scientist, shut your mouth. But very pretty. And that's pretty much the way it is all around the entire circumference of the island, except for out here. I mean, it still does a bit of a gradual fall, but you can also get to the edge of what is basically a cliff. Damn. I mean, one time I'm going to film it and show it off, and there's a bit of a breeze in the air, and the water's not behaving as best as it could. But, like, look at this. Like, this rock formation is crazy. Like that there, and then put the down. Oof. Whew, van life plus uneven rocks. Oh, whoa, 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 my tripod slipping. That would have been a disaster. Did you feel that? That tickle? You almost slid right off of the, uh, the selfie stick. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it because the, the water's too ripply. You can see it, but not in the detail I want you to see it in, which is right there where that sort of green fades into the dark blue black. It's a shelf. You could actually, if you wanted to, do this. I think I am not brave enough to go down and see. That's not my jam. I don't like jam. I like honey. I like to put it on my lips. <laughs> Whatever the hell that stupid 
deep fake of Gary Busey is. And, but Lindsay was like, you just, you should hide a bottle of rum under there. And I was like, that's, if I did that, I would never go down to get it. It's a very cool little spot for sure. And we are absolutely in love with it. A little bit of a break, dropped Lindsay off at the shore, went up, had a bite to eat. Everybody else is gonna meet me over uh, at the swimming hole? No, <laughs> the swimming spot in New Denver, and I'm gonna bring Sebastian over for anybody who might wanna use her. And I just thought, well, I'm out here now, I'm on a boat, might as well carpe diem, right? Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. You know, I talk about this place being my favorite place on earth a lot, and it is. I haven't been able to do this in a very long time, just come out to the middle of the lake by myself in a boat. It's so perfect. It, I would say so quiet, but there's somebody really enjoying themselves in the, in the distance, and they got a big old engine, but it's still just so perfect. You look off the back of the boat, you got the engine and the calm water all the way around. I've been doing this stuff for years. You know, my grandpa got me into boats 
when I was really little. There's this nice picture of us. I mean, there's a picture of me when I'm a baby on the boat, I think, too. But there's one where I'm like five or six years old and I got his captain's hat on and my life jacket. And he's smiling in his Hawaiian shirt and we're sitting on his old green boat. And it's just... I look at that photo. It's actually in Brooklyn's room um, at my mom and dad's house. It's just such a nice reminder of when I fell in love with this sort of aspect of my life. And honestly, the reason I started recording is because I want to, hopefully I can build up the courage to do this. I don't know how easy it's going to be to haul my fat ass back into the boat, but for the longest time, every summer that I would come out here, there'd be a moment where I'd come out like this, whether I'm on my own or I'm with family or friends or whatever, in the middle of Slocan Lake, you just jump off the boat into the lake, into the water. You know, it's like 900 feet at its deepest point below you. There's nothing you hope. You just let the water sort of come crashing down around you and just hug you. And I remember back in the day, it'd be that moment. I would do that and I would have that thought where I'm just suspended in the water, not breathing, just enjoying that moment and wanting to hold on to that all year. Because in the summertime, I would come out here and this would be my the magical place I would go to, right? And come Christmas time, I knew it would be vastly different. I'd be in the city, it'd be snowing, and I'd want a little bit, I just want a moment to just hold on to and remember what the summers were like. And now I'm such a, I'm such a fortunate soul now with the way my life has gone that I get to be out here as frequently as I am. But I haven't jumped off a boat and grabbed that feeling for so long. <laughs> Carpe diem for sure. I just hope <laughs> I can get back into the boat. Ah, sandals off. Onto the bow. Ah. What's the worst that could possibly happen? <laughs> that is amazing. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> oh. All right, I might have gone off the bow, but I don't think I'm coming back in over the bow. Oh, that's actually way easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Although my dad's engine doesn't have a nice grab hole like my grandpa's old boat does. But I made it back into the boat. <laughs> Woo! To the river To the river we go Leave our worries on the shore and drift away On the river on the river we know Sometimes the perfect words are never said I spilled my coffee I don't feel like talking My worries just keep growing by the day I need a moment where The green and blue appear Spin a rock and watch the ricochet To the river To the river we go Leave our worries on the shore and drift away On the river On the river we know Some 
Sometimes the perfect words are left unsaid You could change your mind When you're intertwined with the water and the waves Before you end your days And if you see me out there wave hello Whoa, 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 Penny, 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 you won't want to meet Penny. <laughs> Although I think, did you guys live together? I can't remember. It is. <laughs> Don't look behind you. There's a giant dog. I got you, boo. I got you, boo. Okay, I gotta do some goopy work. You wanna come outside in your catio for a little bit? It's probably a good idea. Come here, you. Hiya. Uh, oh, we didn't open it first. Hang on. Quality content, quality content. There we go. And shabuya. Good girl. All right, Penny, make good choices. <laughs> okay, so this is still a little soft, but I got an issue over here where the old lap sealant is sort of peeling up. So I'm going to hit it with some of the goop from yesterday, and that is why I have a glove on my hand now because I don't feel like dealing with that nonsense the same way I did yesterday. So I'm not gonna paint this today just because it's still it's still a little soft. This lapsy one definitely takes a long time to sort of cure up. Um, but I'm gonna put an entire bead of this goop along its edge. Because I am so done dealing with leaks. Start with that. Just gonna spread that down. Yeah, use that gloved finger. Way better. Solving van life problems one day at a time here. Just keep throwing sticky goop on your roof. Eventually, it'll stick. Sure. There we go. Getting stuff done. Check back on you tomorrow morning. So much easier. <sighs> And are we getting all cozy for bed now? Yes, we are. Hello, little girl. Good kitty. What do you smell? You smell Penny the dog on me? Yeah, you smell Penny the hound? Yeah, good girl. It is nice and cool in here. I don't think we need this on. 
bloody full tilt though. I'm gonna calm that down just a little bit. <clears throat> and that is better. That was a really fun day. I am exhausted. It's like 10 to 9 at night, and I am ready for bed. That was a lot of fun in the sun for sure. After the uh after the crib game there. We uh, went over to the swimming area in New Denver and just spent the day there. Lindsay's got a big, big, like, dock-sized floaty we just hang out on. And Byron, Steph, and Noah came along with Penny, their dog, one of many. And uh, then they came over here for dinner to Mom and Dad's, and they just took off recently. Ugh. And now we are getting ourselves tucked away for the evening. And then we got a couple more days left out here. So hopefully get back on the boat tomorrow before pulling it out the day after and maybe even get my boat cleaned up just so I feel like I'm maintaining it a little bit more than I, I have been. But yeah, myself and a big fat putty tat. We're going to make ourselves very comfortable in our tiny home on wheels here. Parked with all of the creature comforts of mom and dad's house just over yonder, right? Yeah, before our adventures take us back to the big city where we completely have to fend for ourselves. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Isn't that just unheard of? Like we haven't been doing it for almost three full years. Yes. <laughs> Girl. Yeah, it's very sweet. You know, very cute. You wanna do this together? We should probably just end this, huh? End it here? Yeah? yeah that's probably a good idea. I don't know if we're gonna do any filming tomorrow. We shall see, but uh, until then, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. But remember, you can't make everybody happy because you're not tacos. Even when you wear a shirt covered in them. Mm -hmm.